Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. In this one, we're going to talk about a Monday Night Football game, Denver and Buffalo. We have five really good picks for you guys in this video, so stay tuned for all five picks and see if you want to consider them for this Monday Night Football game. I get a lot of comments on the weekends about not posting videos. And that's just how it is. We don't post too many videos on the weekends, but we're still going to be posting picks in the Discord every single day. So get in over there. I know a ton of you guys who watch YouTube videos are already in there, but if you're not, less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. So definitely check it out. Posted this for the Sunday night game, and this one hit. Hit another basketball slip this weekend. Volo over here hit a college football slip. Finiti went four for four yesterday in the NBA, and two days ago went four for five in the NBA. Irenas over here giving out esports picks went four for five over the weekend as well. So absolutely crushing it. Definitely get over here, check it out. We have five, six cappers posting every single day, and we've been hitting on these picks. So when we can't post videos, just know there still will be picks in here in addition to that and the picks from the video will be already posted in there so if some of these lines change by the time you're watching this just know they'll be posted in the discord so right off the bat we're going to go here to josh allen on the bills so we're going to take the rushing yards over 31 and a half he's been picking it up as far as rushing goes so we love to see that for josh allen definitely going to go to the rushing you could see on Outlier here, if we look up Josh Allen, they do have a seven-day free trial on Outlier if this seems like something interesting to you that you would want to check out. We're getting it at 31 and a half. A lot of sites have this at 33 and a half, so getting some pretty good savings here. And the last two games, 41 and 44. So he's hit that in the last two after not running in the first four games. And I think this game's going to be slightly competitive so we're going to be able to target Josh Allen here. He's going to have to be doing a lot. You can see over here, Denver rushing yard defense, 32nd in the league. That's last place. So, you know, like to target rushers against Denver, even though their defense has picked it up a bit as of late. So liking Josh Allen. And while these two teams actually do have pretty decent defenses, it is going to be a predicted high scoring game here. You can see a seven point spread, 47 and a half over under so they're expecting it to be 27 to 20 in favor of the bills so both teams are expected to score a good amount of points here so we're definitely going to be target some of these offensive players on their overs and the second one we're going to go to is going to be the running back on the bills that's james cook we're going to go to his rushing yards over 56 and a half again we're going to get some slight savings here if we pull this one up on outlier as well a lot of these other sites have it at 58 and a half if we and we're going to get this one at 56 and a half so getting you know two yards of savings so far this year he's only hit this in four of nine games but again denver last place as far as defending the rush so if buffalo can take advantage of something in this game it's definitely going to be the rushing attack and I do think Buffalo is going to try to get back to the running game here. You know, they haven't been doing great uh, with the passing game being the primary focus. So I think they're going to do a more balanced approach in this one, especially because they know they can run on a team like Denver. So definitely going to James Cook like that one. So that's the second pick there. Then for the third pick, we're going to go to the kicker on Buffalo. You know, they're projected to get 27 points. So that's definitely a good amount. We're going to go to Bass on the kicking points of 6.5 points on the over. So basically he needs two field goals and an extra point. Or I guess he could get one field goal and four extra points, which is also possible to hit this one on the over. But I think he's going to be busy, going to be a big day for Tyler Bass against Denver. So liking this one, Bass has been pretty solid this season. And, you know, in a higher scoring matchup, he should be able to hit this one. Another site over here with a seven-day free trial. It's a great tool to check out is Odds Jam. You're going to get that trial with the link down below. But they like his over on six and a half. It's one of their favorite picks. A lot of these sites have it at minus 130. Uh, Fliff even has it at minus 140. But all these sites basically like it to go over. So that's how Odds Jam works over here. They compare props from these player props. So that's like sites like Prize Picks, Underdog, Thrive, and show you which what sports books have the lines at and give you 
the top picks based on that. So they definitely are liking Tyler Bass over here. So that's going to be the third Bills pick. Now we're going to come over to the Denver side, and we're going to go to Javante Williams for Williams over on the rush attempts of 13 and a half. They've been just feeding him the ball an insane amount. Definitely a tough matchup as far as gaining yards, but I think they're not going to go away from Javante. He, looking at him over here on Outlier, we could see the rushing attempts. Minus 30, 131 on Caesars, they have this one at. And his last two games, 27 last game, which is insane. 15 in the game before that. So they've been feeding him the ball. You know, earlier in the year, he was right around 13 and a half, but was slightly under. Now they're really featuring him. You know, he's fully ramped up coming off the injury. They might have been taking it a little easy on him in the beginning of the year, but he's back. Last year, only played four games, but hit this over in two. So definitely liking Javante on this one. You know, we can see he gets the majority of the carries. 27 carries out of 40 last week. The week before that, 15 carries out of 25. So getting the bulk of the work here, even when they had, you know, just 25 carries, which is not a ton for an entire game. He still got the over on the 15. So love to see that. Going to lock in Javante here on the rush attempts. Then for the last pick, we're going to go to Cortland Sutton. I would say definitely the favorite receiver and target on Denver here and he's only at three and a half receptions which seems pretty low to me I'm going to be taking the over on this last game they ran the F out of the ball and he only got two catches two weeks before that six and four I think they're going to go back to a more balanced attack Javante still going to hit this one so uh, Cortland Sutton still going to hit this you know Denver's expected to score 20 or more points in this game as well so they're going to have to have a good offensive showing if Vegas is right on that, and I think that they're pretty spot on on this one. I think it's going to be, you know, score around 21-27. It's important to put together a game script. So these are my five picks for you guys to consider. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys asked about the videos on the weekend, which we don't really make. But like I showed you in the beginning of the video, we have five or six cappers posting picks throughout the weekend and every single day. So definitely get in here. I'm just one capper. We have, you know, five, six other ones in there posting winning picks. So check it out. Less than a dollar per day. It'll be linked down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.